Hello guys and girls, and I hope you're enjoying your summer or your winter depending where you're located. So today on that Techo Guy, I'm going to be talking about low powered crypto mining and I'm going to be placing special emphasis on MXC, the M2 Pro miner in particular, and the helium mining, HNT. I'm going to be explaining some of the differences between them and the profitability, and in my opinion, which one is better and more profitable. Stay tuned. Okay, so in the crypto mining world, there is something called low powered crypto mining, where you use significantly less energy and less electricity in order to be able to perform mining activities and still make a decent passive income. Two of those are called Helium Mining and MXC Mining with the MatchX M2 Pro Miners. Those are two of my very favorites. There are some other alternatives. They used to be like the little USB miners in the past, but those did not really render much passive income at all really. So the most effective are the MXC and Helium Mining. And today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be explaining a bit of the differences between these two mining methods. They're both low powered versus GPU mining. So GPU mining can actually make your rooms, your mining rooms very hot, especially when it comes to summer months like these at the moment and where I am located at the moment, it's always 30 degrees Celsius and over. So it is quite hot at the moment. In my opinion, I think that low powered mining is kind of one of those green incentives as well, where you can actually burn very less electricity. You'll be contributing to less CO2 emissions as well. And uh, you will actually be making some passive income. It might not always be the case at the moment we're in a crypto bear market. So that might not always be the case, but there is a significant difference between HNT helium mining and MXC mining, which you can now also mine Bitcoin with, with the MatchX M2 Pro. So you can mine Bitcoin and you can mine the MXC token as well with the MatchX M2 Pro miners. And coming soon, there'll also be Polkadot, which you can mine with the MatchX M2 Pro miner as well. So one of the very significant differences there is that with helium mining, and I'm using two Bobcat 300 miners. In my opinion, the Bobcat is one of the top uh, performing miners there are. There are several other brands like the Nebra and uh, Calchip uh, ones, but I prefer the Bobcat 300, even though it took seven months for my two Bobcat miners to arrive. There is a very long wait queue, but um, I believe that those are the, uh, the, the best ones, especially when it comes to witnesses and things like that. And it's quite easy to set up as well. So barring the uh, seven months I had to wait, um, I think the experience has been quite good so far. However, with my two Bobcat miners, the thing at the moment is that I am making around one HNT every week. Okay, so one HNT, I'm going to show you my screen right now, is equivalent to eight euros and 58 cents. So I'm pretty much making that in an entire week. It's not always consistent. It might be slightly less, it might be slightly more. And remember, I am to using two Bobcat 300 miners in order to be able to do this, and my miners. I actually upgraded straight away and I put an antenna outside to be able to get more witnesses because the way that helium works and you'll find a lot of information about this even on the internet is that basically you have an area where you need to find other helium miners and you will be sending packets to them and challenging them and you'll be sending data packets and receiving data packets and witnessing other miners and when you witness other miners you'll get rewards which are rewarded to you in HNT or in DC data packets, okay? Seven months ago when I had actually placed the order for Helium miners, I would say it was worth it at the time. I did not know it was going to take seven months because it was a around a 12 week waiting period back then. So I, I would have expected that I would have received them in three to four months where the profitability was much, much higher. 
there used to also be like block rewards if you hit a consensus block you would get paid out really really well with helium mining but that is no longer the case unfortunately there have been quite a bit of issues lately on the helium network as well so in my humble opinion if you are going to just start helium mining right now i honestly do not recommend helium mining at the moment because it is going to take you quite a long time in order to get your return on investment back these helium miners cost around 450 to 500 euros uh, for the Bobcat 300 that is there now is also the Bobcat 500 and that works on the 5G networks which seems to be the helium mining future honestly I would just prefer to buy a Matchex M2 Pro miner yes it is significantly more expensive these Matchex M2 Pro miners do cost around 2,500 euros or equivalent to around $3,000 but you do earn a consistent and stable income it is around 8 US dollars a day okay so I'm not even making that in a week with helium mining with two miners with one Matchex M2 Pro miner you will consistently make approximately $10 a day in passive income so you will get your return on investment on one of the matchx m2 pro miners within approximately eight to nine months if the price does fall so here i can show you the price of mxc at the moment and the price is currently at seven euro cents it has been holding quite stable on a seven day period it has been quite stable on a three month period it has gone down from around 10 cents down to around seven cents four as it is today so it has been holding quite strong considering the bear markets at the moment and besides the mxc token now you can also mine bitcoin on the matchx m2 pro as well and coming very soon we'll also be mining polkadot i will leave some articles and links down the, below on what prerequisites you need in order to start bitcoin mining on the matchx m2 pro miner but to go through them quickly i can tell you offhand that obviously first you need to own a matchx m2 pro miner you need to lock up 5000 mxc tokens and you need to have at least 90 percent health or over after you've locked up those 5000 mxc tokens you have to remain with at least 90 percent health on your miner and then you'll be able to also mine bitcoin in parallel with mxc as well so you're going to actually be making a bit more passive income okay so for mxc the thing i like the most is that when the price does go down so for example from seven cents it becomes six cents they will actually reward you more mxc tokens in order to make up for the difference so that you still consistently make that ten dollars passive income per day approximately ten dollars per day so it, it might slightly vary but it's it's always going to be there consistently unlike for example helium mining where i'm making one hnt and obviously the value is going to be just based on that hnt sometimes i make one sometimes i make less sometimes i make more but it's not relative to the price to the value of the actual hnt token itself it's more on the performance of your miner how long it's been online and if you're actually finding witnesses and doing challenges and things like that okay so that's based on your geographical location as well and how many people you have around you on those little green dots and if you have too many in the same hex you might be penalized for that as well because your challenge rewards will be less so i think it's a bit more complicated with hnt in the sense until you grasp the concept of it it's going to be a bit more complicated the cost is significantly less to start mining with hnt and helium mining however the rewards are not going to be as good as mxc either and with the matchx m2 pro miner you can as i mentioned multi-token mine so bitcoin mxc you've got the data highway as well and you've also got polkadot coming soon as well so with just one low powered miner you can literally multi mine these crypto coins all by using around 10 watts of power having said that on coin market cap here you can see that the mxc token is at rank 130 and it has a market cap of 
196 million euros at the moment and helium is actually higher on the list at rank 46 with a market cap of 1 billion plus euros okay so the market cap for helium is bigger but in my opinion at the moment especially passive income is very very low for helium mining like i said i'm making literally one helium token a week where before you could easily make three or four a day okay so it has gone down significantly and the price before of helium obviously if we go back to one year for example it used to be 44 euros around 44 euros even slightly higher so the 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 trend for helium has just been going flat down at the moment as well so do take that into consideration i am not giving you any financial advice i am not telling you go out and buy loads of matchx m2 pro miners i am simply pointing out the differences to help you make a better educated choice when you come to make any low powered crypto mining hardware purchases in my opinion though matchx m2 pro low powered mining does win this for the several reasons I have mentioned, those being that the Matchex M2 Pro multi miner is, in fact, a multi miner. You can Bitcoin mine, you can MXC mine, there is also Data Highway and Polkadot coming soon as well, like I've mentioned. And with the Helium mining hardware, you can only mine HNT and Helium tokens, so do take that into consideration as well and the profitability and everything else that I have mentioned in this video. I'll be leaving a couple of links down below, so be sure to check those out. Also, if you are interested in purchasing a MatchX M2 Pro Miner, then do check out my link below. It is an affiliate link with MatchX, so if you purchase directly from the official MatchX website, you will be getting a discount on your purchase and I will also be making a bit of income from that as well. So thank you for using the link and I hope that you really enjoy the low power Bitcoin mining and the powerful MatchX multi-token mining that that miner does have to offer. If you do want to purchase Bobcats or if you do want to get started with Helium mining because you never know the price might just shoot up again one day and all those HNT tokens that you've accumulated will be worth quite a lot of money as well but we never know what's going to happen then you can also purchase the Helium mining gear and I would recommend the Bobcat 300 or if you want to delve into the 5G yet, and I haven't purchased one yet, uh, there is the Bobcat 500. I'm not totally sure how that works exactly. And obviously I think you need to have 5G in your region. So maybe you do not have that in your region. It might not be introduced everywhere in the world yet. Uh, so just be sure to check out the knowledge bases and the documentation for that miner because I do not have one myself. So I do not know exactly how that works. But if you do have a Bobcat 500, do me a favor, leave comments down below. Let the community all know how that works as well. Maybe that is more profitable than the Bobcat 300, I don't know. Obviously, when it comes to helium, something that I, I need to mention and is very important is antenna placement. It is your location, so the rewards will vary greatly on your location. However, I did do a bit of research and I have checked who actually makes the most in the world from helium mining and which miner is actually the top and the, the results were that the amount they were making was around 80 or 90 dollars a month so it is really not that significant at all so be sure to do your homework properly and uh, i'm just trying to give you some information here to save you some time but in my opinion the matchx m2 pro miner does take the crown when it comes to these two low powered miners if you know of any other low powered crypto miners that can actually make a decent passive income, please drop the information down in the comment section below so that we can learn and grow together and let the whole community know about that as well. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. Smash the like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.